Chad Pergram's back with us. He's our DC producer. Uh, are we looking at what, about 80 votes for USMCA, roughly speaking, bipartisan? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we think they're going to get about 80 to 90 votes on this. You know, when this moved through the uh, coalition of five to six Senate committees, there were only a handful of no votes. And in just the past couple of minutes here, we have a statement from Chuck Schumer here announcing his opposition to the USMC. And I'll just read this here. Uh, he says, instead of advancing global climate security, uh, he said a lot of uh, environmental issues here are much weaker. He said, but based on the greatest issue facing our planet, addressing the climate crisis, the USMCA still falls too short. So Chuck Schumer oh, Chad, will be one of the no votes here. And that's Chad, come in just that, as I've been standing in that, front of the camera. That is very, very big news. Chuck Schumer Absolutely. is the minority leader in the Senate. He will vote no on USMCA because climate change. That's a revelation to me. I was not Were you expecting that, Chuck? Well, you know, again, you know, all politics is local. And, you know, Chuck Schumer, you know, he kind of plays both sides of the street here when it comes to certain uh, trade policy issues. On one hand, he's applauded a lot of what the president has been doing when it comes to China. Uh, you know, he wonders if the Chinese will, you know, adhere to their side of the bargain here. But he's been, you know, pretty appreciative of what the president has done. That said, in contrast to Senator Schumer, you know, you have a lot of Democrats, liberal Democrats, uh, who voted for this in the House and probably many in the Senate who are pleased with the enforcement regulations, things that they did not get with NAFTA, and that's why they will vote yes, because they think it's a far better agreement. I'm